Hey guys, Buff Elgato here. I'm going to tell you the fastest way to get the OTS-9 SMG, the new submachine gun that just got released uh, not too long ago now, right before making this video. If you want to buy it in the store, it is in the store and inside job, along with a tier skip, which now uh, jumps to the next season. If you're already at 100, before we used to lose these, now they go into the next season. The thing is, is if you buy it in a store, you will not be able to unlock certain things for it, things like that, and you won't be able to unlock the real gun using this. You have to use a different SMG. The fastest way to unlock this, as you can see, I'm 14 out of 15. It says, using SMGs kill three enemies affected by your tactical equipment in 15 different completed matches that's right you cannot quit in cold war challenges you cannot quit modern warfare you can cold war you cannot to get this gun because this gun is op as of right now it's a new cold war gun every new cold war gun is op to try to make you buy the game to level them up to get this you have to affect three enemies with tactical equipment you could do this with stuns or flashbangs i highly push you away from that do not try that because the reason why is people wear perks to prevent that. You can get it under the right settings. If you're throwing flashbangs and stuns and you're in the right lobby, you're in the right place, people don't have the right perks on, you could definitely get it. You could definitely get it. The thing to use is the decoy grenade. There is nothing the enemy can do against this. There is no counter against a decoy. You can throw the decoy grenade somewhere and it, unlike, unlike the flash or stun where it goes off immediately, the good thing about the decoy grenade is it sticks around for about six, seven seconds before it disappears. So what I do is if you put on the perks gearhead and quartermaster your equipment charges faster so if you have the quartermaster on you will get the decoy and, and whatever your lethal is i'm carrying syntax but whatever it is you will get these back you'll get if you throw this you'll get it back within 25 seconds um if you throw both of these at the same time you'll get this one back and then after 25 more seconds you'll get this one back and it just goes back and forth the thing is is the enemy does not have to look. These make uh, fake footsteps. The enemy does not have to look at it for you to get a get the count for it. All they have to be is near it. You can throw this thing on the first floor. The enemy can be on the second floor. If you kill them, you'll get one out of the three that you need to unlock the gun. What I'm telling you, the fastest way, unless you have some really weird circumstances, the fastest way to get this gun is to use the decoy grenades. I've already tried this in zombies, seeing what you have to do. You have to kill like 50 of a certain zombie just to get one towards the 15. I know some of you don't have Cold War out there. I know some of you don't have it and you're trying to do this on war zone or plunder or things like that some i might have the battle hardened perk on most people won't on plunder or war zone but they could uh, this will not be blocked by battle hardened the decoy grenade so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to show you my very next game and I'm going to show you how easy it is. I waited to do this video until I got 14 out of 15. This SMG right now is OP, reported by a bunch of other streamers and gamers and things like that. Talking about how OP this gun is at close range. So I know that a lot of you probably want this gun as quickly as possible. So I'm going to go into my game. I'm going to show you what kind of game I play. So I'm in Cold War. If you have Cold War, th this is my setup. I know that my SMG is maxed. All my a SMGs are really maxed, except for the KSP. I could be using that, I suppose. I'm just I'm just using that just to get this gun. So what I do is I go into multiplayer hardcore nuke jacked. And nuke jacked is a mixture of nuke town and um, hijack. So I go into there 
and we're going to jump in and we're going to see how quickly we can get this gun in this game. Enemy spy plane inbound. We're close to hard point. Hard point locked down. We're close to hard point. As you can see, I just unlocked the gun, the OTS-9 submachine gun. I have a little bit of XP on it because of my past Warzone uh, Battle Royale games. I've picked it up off the ground. So it does track your XP. If you pick this gun up and if you've used it, maybe even if you bought it in the store, um, I'm not exactly sure if you bought it in the store and you use it a lot and then down the road you unlock the gun, um, the XP probably comes over. I know it does from Plunder and Warzone if you get this from a ground drop and you use the gun, the XP comes over. But I just did it. Uh, really simple. Every game I play, I get the three kills. I just played one game and got my final point towards it, my 15 out of 15 using decoy grenades i got i only needed three i i know i edited the video so you're not sitting there watching a 10 minute game but i probably got about 15 kills using the decoy grenade just to make sure i got this gun because sometimes you're going to get the flashes and stuns and decoys and you think you got three but then it doesn't count now, it did not let me know I unlocked a gun until the game was completed because that's part of the challenge. You have to complete the game. So it didn't come up mid-game saying, hey, you've unlocked a gun. So I wanted to make sure I unlocked it, so I kept throwing the decoys. Decoys work perfect. There's no counter against it. As long as the enemy gets close to it, it's there for like six seconds. It's not instant like a flash or stun. You know, if you miss your shot with the flash or stun, that's it. But the decoy, it stays there, and there's no there's no counter against it. I got this gun, very easily got it. Now we're going to be going in. We're going to level it up and see what we can do with this gun. I keep hearing how it's OP. I'm probably going to do another video down the road on the gun. You know, how good is it, or what parts to put on it, things like that. But I'm telling you guys, use the decoy that is the way to go and in case you're alive long enough use the quartermaster that way your equipment your your decoy grenade will come back if you're allowed if you're alive long enough if you're alive long enough you'll you'll get it back and you can throw another one down if you throw down a decoy grenade and you instantly die run back to where you threw it down cuz it'll still stay there it doesn't disappear when you die. So if you throw down a decoy grenade, let's say you, you get spawn killed. As soon as you spawn, you throw the decoy and you get shot. As soon as you spawn, that decoy will still be there. You can throw a second one because now that you spawned, you'll have another one. You can throw it down if you want, but your original one will still be there. So... I'm telling you, this is the way to go. This is the easiest way by far to get it. Also... If you bought, an important thing, if you have bought the OTS-9 and you are using it to try to unlock the OTS-9, it will not work. It will not work. If you bought the OTS-9 in, in, in the store, this right here, the undercover agent, and you're like, hey, it's an SMG, let me use it. You cannot use it to unlock itself. You have to use a different SMG. Okay. Guys, if this video helped you, please hit like, please share. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.